You guys, first off, welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel if you've been here before. And I am on an infinite journey to find news stories that are not pertaining to the war and who supports what and blah, blah, blah. There is a lot of other things going on in the world and I think it's important that we look at those other things as well. I don't know about you guys, but it seems that most people have forgotten about the Ukraine and Russia situation that's been going on. I find it to be very interesting how the news cycle works. Now I have covered a handful of stories already about teachers getting involved with their students. I think that's the best way I can put that without YouTube getting too mad at me, but it seems like YouTube's always mad at me, so it's fine. Over the many, many years, you have all heard about the issues that have been going on with the Catholic Church. Not really known for its restraint when it comes to children. Not to mention all the gross ways they try to, uh, you know, push things under the rug. But what I have been noticing that has been very prevalent, and I have already covered a handful of stories on this topic, is teachers getting involved with students. So before we jump into this, I want to remind you, if you guys can homeschool your kids, Homeschool your kids, please. Now, in this video, I'm not trying to disparage every single teacher because I know there are a lot of good teachers out there. I'm just trying to say that we need to recognize that there's a lot of this kind of stuff going on. You cannot just bury your head in the sand and pretend as if it's not. Because on top of the fact that every school in the country seems to be suffering in terms of performance, we also have a problem with a bunch of teachers trying to get with kids and it's pretty insane. So let's jump through some of these stories I stumbled across that happened just recently. The first one I have for you guys happened on Saturday, October 28th, which for me was yesterday, but I probably won't have this video out until, you know, super late tonight on Sunday. Virginia elementary school teacher arrested after coaxing child into van, exposed Exposing himself, police. James William Nugent II, 27 of Alexandria, Virginia, has been charged with 13 counts of child pee. Good God. James William Nugent II of Alexandria, Virginia, was criminally charged on Wednesday on 13 counts of child pee and taking innocent liberties with a child, according to Fox 5. Nugent was employed as a school resource teacher at Governton Elementary School in Alexandria. Now let's jump into the next story, which I've actually done a video on. Tennessee teacher busted for sex with 12-year-old Clinton she's pregnant. I'm going to raise this baby. And right here, there's a little video about Matthew Perry. By the way, rest in peace, Matthew Perry. Uh, I still watch Friends every single night. It's basically my background noise when I do anything. Cooking, sleeping, I have friends on. So my heart and prayers do go out to his friends and his family. Way too young to go. Just tragic, really. But let's go ahead and take a little bit of a look into this one. A Tennessee teacher charged with having sex with her then 12-year-old student told the boy she's pregnant with his child and wants to keep the baby, according to a report. This woman is 38 years Years old and she was a teacher. Authorities have not confirmed if she is pregnant or if the victim in the case is the possible father. Regardless, disgusting, moving on to the next one. Student teacher at Shearwood High arrested for child sex abuse. Police seek more victims. Good God, what is happening to this world? Shearwood, Oregon. A student teacher at Shearwood High School was arrested and faces multiple charges of sexual abuse following a seven-month-long investigation at Shearwood Police Department, SPD, reported Friday. Police said multiple victims victims have been identified, and they believe there are more victims and witnesses. And last but not least, my apologies on this next one, the format of this website, uh, local10.com, is uh, pretty terrible. Former South Florida teacher accused of sexual relationship with student found dead. Palm Beach County, Florida, a former South Florida high school teacher arrested and accused of sexual crimes with a student died from suicide. According to the Boward County Medical Examiner's Office, former Wellington Community High School math teacher Charles Maglio, 54, died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Maglio was arrested in September after an alleged sexual relationship with a 16-year-old student. According to the arrest affidavit, the investigation started last December after flowers were sent to Tijuana's Flats restaurant where the victim worked. The restaurant manager called the flower shop and said that the name Charles Maglio came up. He then called the principal at Wellington Community High School who contacted the victim's grandmother. Now, I'm obviously not going into depth with all these stories, but the point being, there is clearly an issue going on here. And obviously, we have both male and female teachers doing this. So what do we do about it? And what can you possibly do about it when these teachers have no past of doing things like this? Because if they had a history of doing anything like this, it clearly would stop them from becoming a teacher. At least I would assume so. Honestly, the only real answer is to homeschool your kids, right? I mean, that's legitimately the only way you can guarantee that you don't have to deal with these kinds of uh teacher situations. And here lies the problem. Most people can't homeschool their kids. Most people just can't afford to homeschool their kids. They depend on the availability of public schools to educate their children. So chalk this one up into another issue that public schools have. 
Honestly, outside of homeschool, the only thing you can do as a parent is ask questions. Talk to your kids, talk to the teachers. Just make sure you're as involved as you possibly can. That's literally the only thing you can do if this is your only option. I am only showing you guys five situations that have been brought up recently and how many of these things are going on right now. But listen, I do realize that these sickos are in basically every facet of society, but it cannot get more terrifying than them being in the schools where you obviously have to send your kids to. If you guys have a solution besides the obvious one of if you can homeschool your kids, homeschool your kids, I would absolutely love to know. So leave those thoughts in the comments down below. Maybe I'm missing something. I don't know. I'm depending on you guys. But as always, you guys, do not forget to hit the like or the dislike button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you always get notified when I post a new video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.